Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be building a wide bodied V8 supercharged Mustang. This is gonna be such a cool build. But, anyways, let's uh, let's get on the road here. So, we are in our Jeep Grand Cherokee Lardo, I believe is the, what it's called. This is a really nice car, to be honest. Oh, I forgot. It's remote uh, closing door thing. I can't speak today, but yeah, so the Mustang, believe it or not, is actually in that um, red house right uh, across from that gray one. I'll, I'll, there's probably going to be like an arrow or something pointing to where it is, but yeah, let's go to that and pick up the Mustang. Alrighty, so here it is. Um, this is honestly, it's a pretty nice car. Um, let's hear a startup here. Not bad. To be honest, that's not really necessarily terrible, but it's also not really good. Let's uh, let's turn up turn up the volume here. Alright, so now what we're going to be doing is everything's at Truck Planet, so we're going to just have to build it um, step by step. This is going to be such a cool build once it is done. Let's do a bit of a pull here in the Mustang. Let's feel some of that V6 power. Yeah, there's not a lot. By the way, guys, I'm in my roleplay server. Link in the description. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay. Um, steering on this thing is pretty sensitive. Like, I can see myself easily just wrapping myself around a pole with this car. However, that is because the tires are very worn out because this car has not... The last time this car has been driven was literally like a month ago. And he literally just drove it around the block to get everything like working, making sure the battery's good and all that. So yeah, he hasn't driven this thing in a while. And of course we get a red. Lovely. But anyways, the truck planet is right up here. So I'll get back to you guys when we get to truck planet. Alrighty boys. So we are now at the uh, truck planet and it looks like we got a beautiful Camaro SS. That's really close to the ladder, but dang, this thing is super nice. Maybe I should buy one of these. I don't know though. So anyways, first what we got to do is put on the rims, uh, some, new pa uh, some new paint, and the wide body kit, which will take probably about two weeks, so yeah, that's, oh geez, that's essentially just like two seconds YouTube time, so let's cut to when we get the wide body. Alrighty, everybody, so here it is. We got the wide body kit on it. As you can see, it looks a lot, lot better. You can't really even tell it's the same vehicle. This thing looks sick, dude. I love this thing. But now we gotta put the engine and we have to tune it to have like over 500 horsepower and make this thing a supercar slayer. So let's do that. And literally just like that, the engine has been put in. This is gonna be first ever cold start. Let's hear this. All right. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds so sick. We gotta take this thing to the airport and do a top speed run. We just have to. Alrighty, so now we're at the dr uh, airport. And we are going to be doing a top speed test. Now, the people at Truck Planet um, and the tuners of this company, which is Colleen. Huh, that's totally not supposed to be Celine. But yeah, they said that this will max out uh, above 180. Now, that's hard to believe, but let's see. Oh my gosh. Yo, this thing just peels. They said this thing 0 to 60 is like 3.1 seconds, which I can I can believe that. And top speed, 184 miles an hour and almost 300 kilometers per hour. 
Oh my gosh, that is so fast. And just to show y'all how fast that really is, here's a standard Mustang GT. This is a 2017 one. As you can see, <laughs> the Celine one is just so much, or I mean, sorry, Colleen is so much faster. Bruh, and this thing tops out at like 247, while the other one's like, dang. That's fast, but yeah. So anyways, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Sorry it was a short one, but you know, you know how it is. So anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.